shares of Academy Sports and Outdoors up more than 7 percent, about 7.5 percent, after reporting stronger than expected earnings and revenue in the first quarter. And while Academy did open its first new store since 2019, the company lowered 2023 guidance and said that both inventories and its shipping costs increased. Joining me now is Chairman and CEO of Academy Sports and Outdoors, Ken Hicks. Ken, uh, great to talk to you. So I was just talking to Steve Leisman about uh, stimulus impact, and you talked about that a bit on the call. That's part of the reason why things are down by comparison. But do you yet have visibility into what the normalized trend is going to be? Yes, we, we feel that uh, we actually are in pretty good shape. We uh, were up 38 uh, percent the first quarter last year. This quarter we were down seven. So we've been running now about 30 percent up on a on the uh, two year basis. So uh, it seems to me that in an inflationary environment, people might want to just go outside and enjoy the simple things a bit more, which could benefit you. At the same time, though, the, the cost of some of those simpler things going up a bit. So even within the categories that you deal in, where are you seeing continued strength in consumer demand? We are seeing continued strength in areas like team sports. The kids are still going out and playing. Camping uh, is one where people are are going out and our apparel and footwear businesses has picked up also. So what is happening at the same time when it comes to labor and construction? I believe about 40 percent of your stores at this point are in Texas, but you're looking to expand out of there. How does this uh, yeah. economic environment affect those expansion plans? Well, we've we've uh, looking for sites has become a challenge, but we've got a great team doing them and uh, we've had to go further out in terms of reserving the materials to build the stores than we normally would uh, because of, of material shortages. And the cost has gone up, but it's uh, fortunately we've got a model that will allow us to build the stores uh, economically and uh, have productive stores that'll be uh, cash flow positive in the first year. Ken, what are you doing on labor costs and how is churn in the workforce trending? We're seeing more churn than we have in the past, but we're a fun place to work. And so we have taken up wages uh, over the past several years, and uh, we have not had a problem in our stores uh, hiring people to take care of our customers. Um, what is the impact? And there's been a tragedy in Texas uh, recently in, in Uvalde. I want to note that uh, you do have firearm sales what has been the impact of that on both your policies in firearm sales and, uh, and in demand? Well, our hearts go out to all of those who are affected by the tragedy. Uh, and we have always worked to be the most responsible firearms retailer in the country. We go above and beyond all of the requirements uh, that, are requ by, that are required by law. And we work hard to make sure that we are responsible and that our uh, customers who buy the firearms are responsible by giving them all locking devices, giving discounts on uh, safes when they do buy a firearm and making sure that we do background checks and get a completed background check on all customers. Mm, important to note. Finally, on inventories, uh, how, how full are you? Uh, do you feel like you have the right merchandise to sell through? Or are you having to do markdowns? We are in very good uh, inventory position. There's a couple of areas, one of which is uh, like cleats that are a little more challenged in terms of not having enough, but uh, we do not have a big problem with inventory. We have uh, right now 9% more inventory than we had in 2019, and our sales are up over 35% over that time period. So. We've been able, our team has done a great job managing the inventory, and we don't see any gluts in our inventory. All right. Important work to do. Ken Hicks, CEO of Academy Sports and Outdoors. Thank you.